Rhyme Bell is now online. Hey guys and girls, today I'll be showing you how to make a countdown timer using JavaScript. As always, you want to start off by opening a HTML tag and closing it down below. And inside your HTML tag, you want to open a body tag and close that also. And to finish up here, we're going to open a paragraph tag and slap an ID onto this and we're going to use it later on. Alright, onto the JavaScript. We're going to start off by declaring the variable time, which is going to be the overall time during this countdown. Now we're going to go ahead and declare a second variable. Unlike the first one, this variable is going to be a set interval, meaning it's going to be called ever so often. So follow my lead. Alright, so in this set interval, we're going to count down the time. So what we're going to type is minus minus time. But if you want to use the count up, you just have to put plus plus time. Now we're just going to display the time in our paragraph tag. Remember the ever so often? So now we're going to type in 600. If you're going to do something when the time is up, all you have to do is set up an if statement checking to see if the time is less than zero. And obviously, I'm just going to reset the time because I don't have anything to do. Save and open. Well, that's pretty cool. Now you can see it in the top left counting down. And when it hits zero, it automatically resets, which is pretty neat. But let's make it look a bit better. So this means this is just a CSS part. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's going to look pretty cool in the end. As you can see, that's pretty cool. And that's how to make a countdown using JavaScript and HTML. And until next time, Rainbow out.